guys welcome back to my channel so now we are on day four and i just want to thank everyone that has been watching my videos up until now because as i said at the beginning of this challenge i don't really know how long i will be able to keep this up it's only day four and i'm already struggling not okay well today yeah prop wise but also editing wise i suck at editing i'm slow very slow so it's taken me a while but let's continue on with the video i'll complain more later so just a rundown of the supplies really quick i am using pigma micron pens in double oh five oh one oh three oh five oh eight and their nib pen i am also using a blackwing pencil to do the initial sketch of just the main item in the middle but we'll do only pen on the little doodles on the all around the bookmark speaking of bookmark i am using hoppy lobby's bookmark paper it is two inches by six inches i decided to do inktober bookmarks this year i thought that it would be fun uh, i'm a reader so it's something that i can have and if not it's something that i can give away when i sell artwork as a thank you don't really know what to do with 31 bookmarks yet I am also using a kneaded eraser and a very thin washi tape, also from Hobby Lobby, to help me with the borders. Alright, so going into the prompt, day four prompt is freeze. And this one, not gonna lie, this one took me through a loop. First, I thought of freeze, ice, frozen, Olaf. And I thought, that's what I'll do. I will draw Olaf. But I decided to go through the list to see, you know, what other ideas I can come up with and realize that day 11 is snow and frozen items, Olaf items fit more in that prompt than freeze. So that didn't work out. Then I thought Mr. Freeze, villain from Batman. Perfect. But it's a two by six inch bookmark with doodles all around. Same art style I wanna keep throughout all 31 days. So to do a complex drawing of Mr. Freeze was not something I want on my bookmarks. I don't want to take them to a point where they're so detailed that I end up struggling, hating it, or just hating Inktober, which is what I've done every year that I've tried Inktober is that I make them really big intricate pieces or just pieces that will take hours rather than you know something pretty quick that I know that I can do because I have work I have things to do so I decided for some very odd reason it popped into my mind confessions of a shopaholic if you've seen this movie then you know the scene where the main character, I don't remember her name, she has a credit card frozen in water, like, a, well, not in water, well, yeah, it's water, in a block of ice in her freezer, and she, like, struggles to break the credit card out of this block of ice so she can use it and go shopping, and freeze, that's just what came to my mind, and I went for it. So, the item in the middle is the block vice with the credit card sticking up, but also half inside, and it's slightly melting. The item on top of that is the green scarf. If you've seen the movie or read the book, you know that the green scarf is of importance. If not, you need to either read the book or watch the movie, because it is a good movie. And then for all the doodles around, I decided to keep it very confessions of a shopaholic. So I did, you know, different items that maybe she would have bought. A belt, some sunglasses, purses, hats, skirts, etc. So that's basically what I did. And this prompt, probably I went through the most ideas and actually 
came up with the most randomest thing and I just started drawing, which I think I had the most fun with this prompt so far just because I didn't overthink it. I didn't, you know, commit to something like Mr. Freeze and then have to stress out about making or drawing something, especially in ink, so complex with so much detail on such a little piece of paper. I thought of something that I thought made me laugh and went for it. And I think that's what made it great. And if you've seen Confessions of a Shopaholic, I hope you recognize it. Probably not because you can't see the green scarf, but that's okay. Um, I had so much fun with this prompt. It was a lot harder to draw little doodles of clothes because I just... I don't draw a lot of clothes. I draw mainly portraits. So for me to draw clothes was very difficult. And then to do them in pen without a sketch underneath was even more difficult. But I managed and I had fun. So, you know, hopefully you get the reference. If not, go watch the movie, pick up a book, because it's a good, good reference. All right. Well, that's it for today. Uh, I will be back again tomorrow for day five. Day five's prompt is, I don't remember, I think it's build. Yeah, it is build. So we'll see where my brain takes me tomorrow because I don't even know what to do. The first thing that comes to my mind is build a snowman. It's October and I'm thinking about Frozen. Okay, well, I'm done with this voiceover. I need to sleep because it is late and I have work tomorrow. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please, please comment, please subscribe, like this video. I can't believe I signed up for 31 days of videos back to back. Wish me luck. Bye guys.